here. First of all, we're sitting here tonight in the exact same spot where the University of New Brunswick won the Canadian Hockey Championship just a couple of weeks ago. We're also here on the same campus, the same hill, where two extraordinary leaders of the free world President John F. Kennedy and Senator Robert Kennedy received honorary degrees at UND. People have been talking about it for 50 years, and they'll be talking about your visit for another 50 years. Now, one other quick factoid. A competition is taking place across the planet for the seven natural wonders of the world. After hundreds of applicants, we're down to 20. Only 20 remain. Only one from Canada. And that's in the province of New Brunswick. And so my trick question to you, do you know what it is? In Nova Scotia. The <laughs> The waves, right? That's that huge. Well, how much did the tides change here? Uh, 20, 28, 29, somebody would know the exact number, but <laughs> around 28 foot tides in the space of a couple hours. It's extraordinary. So now to get into some serious questions. It means admit, I shouldn't swim in the undertow, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite an undertow. When you'd mentioned Osama bin Laden, and it's in the news, I'm going to ask you the question. What did you know? When did you know it, and how do you feel about uh, the death of Osama bin Laden? Well, first of all, I, um, it's really interesting that the night before this whole thing happened, I was in Southern California, and the guy said, where do you think bin Laden is? And I said, I, I think he's in Pakistan. And I said, he's probably hiding in a cave, but if he is, it's got to be a very expensive cave because he has some significant medical issues and he needs uh, probably dialysis equipment and, you know, support. But I should tell you that when Hillary was elected to the Senate in 2000 and became a senator as I was leaving the White House, once she got on the Armed Services Committee, I never took another security briefing from my government unless the president or someone <coughs> in the White House asked me to take it, or the CIA. I, I didn't do it because I didn't want in any way have anything I would say as I travel the world compromise her responsibilities. When she became Secretary of State, I redoubled that effort. And you be. Uh, Probably, I hope you're happy, but you, you shouldn't be surprised if you know that not, she never said a word to me about this. And I heard about it when President Obama called me a few hours before he made a public announcement. And we talked about it a little bit. And you know, the, she and the CIA director, Leon Panetta, who's my chief of staff and my budget director, were, a, you know, big part of that process, but I didn't know anything about it. I was actually, that afternoon, I tried to call her twice. It was a Sunday and I called her. Right? And I, I was told twice that she was at the White House and didn't have time to talk to me. <laughs> but I was really proud of her. I, 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 when she became Secretary of State, I, I really told her, I said, it's very important. I'll go around and be asked for my opinion. I'll give it to you. I do not want to know anything unless there is some reason. So I got a briefing on North Korea, for example, when I went to pick up those two young women over there. But otherwise, I didn't. So I didn't know about it before you did, much before you did. I knew about it when President Obama called and we talked about it. Um, I felt that it was a good thing that he had finally been uh, apprehended. Um, if he had been captured and put on trial, Lord knows what the consequences would have been. So uh, he killed a lot of people, a lot of people. And so I thought, 
this is um, this is a good thing. But it's hard to be happy about it, and it's hard not to be. Uh, I agree with what the, even the president said. You know, this is the, an ongoing process. The operational head of Al Qaeda was his number two man, Dr. Al Zawahiri. Um, the even more pernicious, the ideology, which said if you don't.